All right, this is the Lakeville Board of Selectmen meeting, June 12th at three o'clock p.m. Um, is anyone recording other than Lake Cam? Okay, uh, so I'll go right into our stripped, stripped script for our virtual format. Um, in accordance with the governor's order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general law chapter 30A, section 20, relating to the 2020 novel coronavirus outbreak emergency, the June 12th, 2020 public meeting of the Board of Selectmen shall be physically closed to the public to avoid group congregation. However, to view this meeting in progress, please go to facebook.com backslash lake cam. You do not need a Facebook account to view the meeting. This meeting will also be recorded and available to be viewed at a later date at www.lakecam.tv. So uh, I am Leah Fabian, Chairman of the Lakeville Board of Selectmen. Permit me to confirm that all members, staff, and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. So first of all, I'll uh, Richard LaCamera Selectman. I can see him and he's muted. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, thank you. Uh, Maureen Candido, Town Administrator. Present. Tracy Craig McGee, Executive Assistant to the Selectman and Town Administrator. Here. Okay, um, and Catherine, also known as Katie Goodfellow, town moderator. I'm here. Okay, and I think that's it that we have, correct? Um, let's see, so this open meeting of the Lakeville Board of Selectmen is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020 due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations at the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless, unless such participation is required by law. This meeting, we will just be taking um, Facebook chats. Um, for this meeting, the Lakeville Board of Selectmen is convening by video conference via Zoom as posted on the town's website. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless I note otherwise. Um, let's see, I will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the list of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called further. Please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. Please remember to also speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in conversation with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. And finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. So, um, I do not have the agenda in front of me, pardon me, but I think the only thing on this meeting is to discuss a reduction in the quorum for town meeting and annual town meeting. Um, so, we had decided to do our town meeting first annual town meeting first and then our special town meeting um, at the time when we made these decisions, the state had said that we could do a 
um, reduced quorum for just financial matters and any matters that had a federal deadline. Um, since that time, things have changed. Uh, actually, things have been changing almost daily. So um, it's been a lot of work for everyone to keep up. Um, but still, re reducing the quorum is an option. So for our town meeting, our town meeting quorum is 100. So at this point, we are here today to discuss whether we want to reduce the town quorum, and if so, by how much. Um, but uh, at this point, I will let Katie Goodfellow discuss town meeting from your end, if you want to do that, Katie. Thank you. Um, so Katie Goodfellow, town moderator. Um, it is the strong recommendation of the Commonwealth that towns reduce their quorums um, per Chapter 92, Section 7 of the Acts of 2020. And this act temporarily allows the Board of Selectmen in consultation with an approval of the town moderator to lower a town meeting quorum. So this is a temporary quorum reduction, and I want to make that clear. It applies only during the governor declared state of emergency. And what it says is that the quorum may be reduced down to no less than 10% of a regular quorum. I think that 10% is maybe too low. Um, so what I would like to request is that the Board of Selectmen approve a quorum reduction of 25% for both the annual and the special town meetings. I would like to make it clear, and we've said this before, but I think it bears repeating, um, that this does not mean that only 25 people can participate at the town meeting. Everyone who attends can participate and vote in this meeting. What this means is that should fewer people show up on June 23rd, we will still be able to pass articles that must be addressed um, in order for Lakeville to keep running. I do realize that there are some non-budgetary items on the warrant and they include Route 79, only if it passes on the ballot, uh, the town treasurer position, several zoning issues. And some people have expressed concern that these items will be passed or not passed by a minority of voters namely those who show up at the town meeting. It is not the moderator's position to direct the board as to what they may place on the warrant. But I am aware that issues outside the budget have hard deadlines set by the state. So I leave it to the discretion of the Board of Selectmen whether or not they wish to retain all the proposed articles on the current warrant. Um, in setting up this meeting, which is going to be in the... So it's Sorry, minutes. that's a reminder for my kid to go to fencing. Um, it's going to happen again. Sorry. Sorry. So in setting up this meeting, which is going to be in the gymnasium, we must maintain social distancing guidelines. And that's you know, the six feet, wearing masks, all of those other um, things. And safety is foremost um, on my mind, in the mind of the town administrator and our staff. So lowering the quorum makes sense because there are people who are afraid that they may not attend the meeting that they should not attend the meeting um, so you know in summary my recommendation is a quorum reduction of 25 percent that's what i respectfully request and i'm open to hear um, other points of view okay um rich it can be your turn now Okay, I, I, uh, I think Katie's recommendation is a good recommendation. Um, I, I do wanna say that the confusion about some of these articles that need to be addressed, um, Route 79 is an example. If it gets passed at the, um, at the ballot next uh, Tuesday, um, we are required to have this approved uh, by the ballot and by town meeting uh, by June 30th. Otherwise, we lose a $10 million grant. Um, as far as the uh, the other one, the marijuana one that you brought up, Katie, um, this has been put off since last fall, and we have been allowed, you know, not to do it until the next um, 
special or to, had to be a special special town meeting so this has already been a re reviewed and approved you know by the planning board and uh, once again uh, there's a moratorium on for marijuana facilities right now and if we don't pass this then the moratorium would be lifted and the uh, zoning would would stay as it is which I know um, most people don't want that to happen so I just want to explain a couple of those uh, articles why why they're on there and why we need to address them okay um, Maureen do you have any comment um, I think Katie laid it out really well we've been having lots of uh, decisions uh, decisions discussions um, about how to conduct the meeting and how it should go forward. Um, I think uh, Katie had a good summary and the reminder is that this is not to preclude anyone from exercising their right to vote, reducing this quorum. It is just to make sure that if less than 100 people show up through the door, uh, we can still get the business of the town completed. So. Yes, that's, okay. that, that's my spiel. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I will go back to um, some of the social media posts and people asking a lot of questions and a lot of people inferring that, you know, it may not necessarily be fair to have a small number of people, you know, vote on everything, but I, I can only encourage someone to attend the meeting, um, as Maureen and Katie have mentioned, you know, we are, they, they are working really very hard, very diligently on setting everything up. So we have the six feet distancing, we're, you know, planning on having ex extra masks available. So if you forget yours, you don't have to go home and come back. Um, hand sanitizer, all these precautions are being taken. Um, so I, you know, I, I strongly encourage people to still come and participate. Uh, I mean, if 25 people, if that's what we decide, you know, is upsetting, we, we still have to get town business done. And I, I also want to say that this isn't, you know, the selectman's decision to go forward. We are being encouraged by the state to try to get our election and our town meeting done um, as best as we can. And this, this is an option that both the House, the State House and the State Senate has passed. So it's, this isn't anything that's unique to Lakeville. Um, so I don't, you know, I, I agree that we need a reduction in quorum. And I also agree that if 100 people show up, 100 people will get to vote. There is no, you know, there won't be any exclusions. If you show up, if you're a Lakeville registered voter and you show up and you, you know, you check in like similar to like you would for an election, um, for those who don't, you know, know how it works, um, it, it's kind of the same thing. So, um, Rich, so Katie made a recommendation of 25%. So now it's up to, this is a decision now of the Board of Selectmen whether we will go forward with the reduction and if we do, by how much. So we have already um, satisfied the first requirement, which is that we um, consult with the town moderator and the town moderator has agreed. So that is the first part of you know this decision process. Katie, do you agree with that? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. So now it's up to Rich and I as the two Board of Selectmen to decide, you know, um, yes, we're going to do this. No, we're not going to do this. And if we do do this, by what the um, reduction will be. So. Um, Madam Chairman, I make a motion to uh, uh, reduce the quorum to 25% for the annual and the special town meeting for uh, June 23rd. Okay, so we have a motion and I will second. Um, is there any other discussion, Rich, between you and I as the Board of Selectmen here? I mean, I think 25, 
you know, sometimes we have a hard time getting a hundred. So 25 is, you know, I, I'm happy with 25. I'm I all can, set. Yeah, I can live with that. All right. So all those in favor of reducing the quorum to 25%, which in the case of Lakeville is 25 people. Uh, Fabian, aye. La camera, aye. Okay. Um, Katie, are you good with that? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, so, um, so it will be 25%. And again, to reiterate from, um, hold on one second, getting a message. Um, we do, I will just put a stop right there. We have a message from um, Bob Marshall. A lot of folks know Bob Marshall around town. He's on our cable um, advisory cable commission. I forget which one. He says, uh, um, Bob Marshall says, if the budget isn't passed, Lakeville will be in great difficulty, which is true. There was some talk about, um, you know, reducing the budget, I mean, voting in one twelfth of the budget, but our one twelfth doesn't even cover, you know, what one twelfth of July would be. So um, again, so as we just voted, too late now, Rich, we already voted, um, we will minimum 25 people. And again, anyone can come. And, and, and you know what? If this is what piques people's curiosity to come and see what town meeting is about, so be it. Everyone will be six foot distanced and we'll all have our masks. And, you know, I would, I would, you know, love it if people, if this, this sort of thing actually, you know, gets people interested in town government. I always say, and this is right now, this is just my chance to, you know, um, be on my soapbox, but I always say one person at town meeting can make a difference. It's not like the electoral college. One person can and has made a difference in the past. Um, so some votes are a simple majority. Some votes are two thirds, but one person's vote can make a difference. So if any of this is interesting to anyone, the town meeting is June 23rd at the high school and we will be ready. <laughs> All right, is there any other, um, any other business on this or old business that we may have? Rich, Maureen, Tracy, Katie? Nothing for me. Okay. Nothing for me. Okay, I'm, Rich? I'm all, I'm all set. Okay, so um, I guess that's it. So I will make a motion to de, uh, to adjourn. Uh, La camera second. All right. Um, all those in favor, Fabian, aye. La camera, aye. All right. Thank you again to Lake Cam.